up, right up, right up. Thank you. But, um, yeah, tonight is my friend man birthday, so you're gonna pop out. I'm exhausted. My back will not, I got like a crook in my back, if that makes sense. And it hurts so bad. It's on my right side. It hurts so bad, but <sighs> we finna get it together. I told her I'll be at her house at like 8, 8.30. It's 7.01 right now. Well, 7.04. Well, I guess 7.01. So I'm about to um, slip my head back and just do my little makeup real quick. And then, oh, wait. I don't know what I'm putting on, but I'm, my what is this set I got from Target because it's just cute. I can throw it on. I probably wear my um, Asics or my Balenciaga runners. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I need to give me something to eat too. I'm so hungry. That's what we doing tonight. We popping out. We popping out and it's at a hookah lounge. So all I need is the vibes. All I need is the vibes. But we about to do my ponytail, but I'm about to do it so that I can do my makeup really quick and then I'm going to get dressed. Yeah, I'll check back in with y'all in a second because I left the air control downstairs. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Hey, you look a mess. I mean, I can't wait. I didn't know that. My uncle had a hair. He's so I'm trying to get him to pay for my ticket to go out of town. You're such a boy. I got a trainer now. 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 I got a trainer TikTok, you probably ain't even seen it, boy. I did see some posts about it today on um, Instagram. But <clears throat> so what happened was, it's this boy. I don't even know his name. I know it's official something. Boom. So he knew that Keith Lee was coming to Dallas this week. So he like, um, blah blah blah, like. Pull up, my mama got a full truck, like the food ahead, we just need you to pull up. So it's another girl on TikTok named Shrill or something. She's supposed to already get like, you know, popping and shit, right? So I guess he tell her like, pull up, like just help me, ah, uh ah. -uh. So she pull up, she come on, everybody tag and keep Lee and his wife, ah. Uh -uh. Keith Lee actually ends up pulling up, y'all. So he tried to fool. He get a full good ratings and everything. So when the girl pulled up, her brother who was with her ended up coming to, to like, you know, kind of like promote himself in the same sense because he cut hair. 
So he was out there like cutting hair. Uh, uh, she was out there helping. Like everybody was out there doing their big one trying to get, you know, Keith Lee to slide. So Keith Lee slide. He tastes the food. He give it good ratings. That's what it's like. That's what the story go left at. So um, he like, yeah, everything was good. I like what you're doing out here. Woo, woo, woo. He say, I see y'all got the um, dude giving out haircuts. Uh uh, he say, I wanna give a thousand dollars to the um, barber. I wanna give a thousand dollars to the braider, which was the girl, or I think it was Sherelle, I'm not sure. Or however the case may be, but he said, I wanna give a thousand dollars to the barber, a thousand dollars to the braider, and I wanna give you two thousand to the lady that owned the restaurant the food truck so she like thank you uh uh so <clears throat> they say that keith lee used square and <laughs> the girl said that not even oh yeah and he gave her 800 and some dollars to feed everybody else free for the rest of the day so the girl said that but so the girl, the girl say he gave the money to the, her, for her to feed the rest of the people that was out there for free. <clears throat> and they say not even, well, Sherelle, the girl said not even 45 minutes after Keith left, the mama, the lady of the food truck was like, um, yeah, he used square, so you gotta give me a few days for the money to clear into my account. <clears throat> so the group was like, okay, cool, that's cool. Da 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 da. So now, I guess like a day went by or two days and they like, hey, like, you know, what's up with our portion of the money? Because total he gave her $4,000 and then the 800 to feed the rest of the people free for the rest of the day or until a full truck closed, whatever the case may happen. So, um, they say the lady only served, no, I'm not gonna get into that for her, but, so I guess a few days went by, like a day or two, and, um, the girl reached out like, hey, like, you can keep my money, but my brother, like, he need his thousand dollars. So the lady like, I'm gonna give my son a thousand dollars and he can do whatever he see fit with it type shit. So the girl like, hey, I'm not like, that's not what you know. Keep Lee said, like he said, and then it's in the video like verbatim, y'all like, give the barber a thousand dollars. He can give out free haircut, you know. And give a thousand to the writer and you keep two thousand. This lady kept all all the fucking money y'all. All of it. And then the audacity to be like he didn't cut no hair for free. So he said that that thousand dollars was for free haircuts. Like no bitch. He said give a thousand dollars to the barber. And so he can, you know, if he gonna cut hell, like he can do a few for free. That's what the fuck Keith said. But my whole thing is, whether he was out there doing anything for free or however the case may be, y'all, uh, when he said you got the barber out here, you got this, this, and the third out here, that lady face was like, yeah, 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 looking goofy as hell. And now she's saying like. That's not a part of my team. I don't know where her and her brother came from. This is in a third. Like, that money is for people who work for it. Um, just a bunch of BS, honestly. <clears throat> so, the sister showing the messages or whatever between them. And now, I guess they just talking strictly through, like, you know, um, like, you know, behind the scenes in private. Bitch, <laughs> it go from talking behind the scenes in private. So the sister is friends with the lady who owned the food truck son. So I'm guessing she reaching out to him too. Like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but 
you know, my brother need his money, da 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 So, the friend, the mama's son, like, um, yeah, like, we had to pay somebody else to cut hair. Because that's what he gave the thousand dollars up for, like, for people to get free haircuts. And that right there is me because, bitch, he said, give, give the barber a thousand dollars. And then, their story so discombobulated. He said, Keith Lee came, like, right before they was about to close or something. And then he, he said, yeah, he didn't even want to come back to cut hair. Gee, Keith Lee paid for y'all for that day. For that day. Like, then she like, your mama only served three people for free and then started charging people again even after Keith, you know, paid or whatever. So everybody is being messy as hell. Well not everybody, but I would definitely say the the man and his mama, like, if that ain't messy, what the fuck it is like and then it's circulating, like you hear him say Give this to the brighter, give the thousand dollars to the barber. Why do you feel like he's not, he shouldn't get the thousand dollars because he didn't come back the next day and cut hair for free? No, bitch, it was for that day. So that right there is like, wow, money truly is, money really is the root of all evil. So now, fast forward, like they doing this little back and forth on the internet type of thing, boom. He like, I don't even know why she brought it to the internet. I told her personally, I would give her brother a thousand dollars, but my bank account is, um, my bank account, my bank card is stolen. So I have to wait or I have to physically go to the bank or whatever to get the money out. And my whole thing is, baby, you know, good and goddamn well. You wasn't going to pay that man back because if you would have, you would have stood on that. Like, y'all would have stood on that. Like, over a thousand dollars, like, everybody showing their ass up because if you know TikTok, you know that Keith Lee effect is real, bitch. Keith Lee is going to be his makeup look, bitch, I, it'll look like I'm selling dope, okay? Like, send your wife, Keith. Come on, tell her come get her makeup done. But the Keith Lee effect is so real and it's crazy because it's like, weird even saying it but it's the truth like it's real so it's like you really bought your fucking lesson because y'all want to be greedy like that oh lord jesus christ i got so much to do in so little time i'm so fucking sick of people it's ridiculous it's re fucking ridiculous like jesus take the wheel the keep me effect is just so real that it's like mama I never seen nobody purposely fumble. Like you purposely fumbled the bag. Like bitch, you never wanted no money to start with because you would have been in a restaurant. <laughs> you would have been able to buy you a restaurant, mama. Now your struggle food truck bus is gonna continue to struggle because God don't like ugly. And then my whole thing is, y'all, it'd be totally different if she was like, you're absolutely right, that's what he said, it was miscommunication, or I heard it wrong, like, as soon as I get it, or my account was in a negative, but as soon as I make it, I'll be able to, anything. They just dead as wrong and standing on it, and I swear to God, I hate people like that, like. Yeah, you dead wrong. You dead wrong. And 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 dead serious about being mad. Like what? I think that is the craziest shit ever. But yeah, I just feel like that's some sick ass shit. <laughs> Honestly. I'ma end it on that note because that is just sick to me. It's like if my mama give me five dollars and say and I got my two cousins with me and she said well you get each of them a dollar fifty a piece and you keep two and 
I go in there and be like, well, yeah, y'all get a dollar a piece. Because I see something else that I want. Like, what the fuck? I see something else that I want, like, just totally disregarding what my mama said. <sighs> That's a fool right there. I've come to a conclusion that I gotta cut everybody the fuck off. Like, it's so sad, cause I be trying so hard. But I feel like everybody gotta go. Like, everybody gotta go. Like, I don't know. And it, I've been feeling like this, like... If I was to change my number or something, like, I don't even want my mama to have that bitch. Did you I feel like everybody gotta go? <laughs> like, I'm so fucking sick of people. And I kind of get like this every year around my birthday. Like, I'm sick of people. I don't know. People probably irritate me more around my birthday. And that's why I'm just like, when my birthday is coming up, like, leave me the fuck alone. But I, I told myself, like, I'm going to do everything and that I'm supposed to do. And I feel like staying out the way and staying away from people is just one of them. Like, I feel like I prosper, no shade, so much more when I am not being bothered. Like, when I'm truly in my own bubble, I feel like that's when I see more change. Oh, that's really where I'm at with it. Like, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be. And I'm to the point now where I feel like so much shit is fake. Like, it's just fake. Like, what? Where does it come from? Like, this shit fake as hell. So I'm really at, like, that point with it, too. Let's set this on the I'm definitely not going to be ready by 8 o'clock, but I will be out the door by 8.30. Because after this, this is all I gotta do. I already know what I'm gonna throw on. I already know what I'm throwing down. And then another thing, I feel like my heart won't really allow me to be like super selfish. And that's why I don't feel like, um, like I'm, um, my heart really don't allow me to be super selfish. So it's like I'm always like, you know what, I'm gonna just. Like, I'm gonna just be this person who I am already. Like, no, bitch. It's time for a little change. These motherfuckers got to go. These motherfuckers gotta go. That's how I feel. Like, everybody got a little texture. Mama, baby, everybody, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Okay? I'm just, I can't. I cannot do it this year. I'm not in the mood this year. No shade. Today gonna be a good night. Cause tonight's gonna be a good, good night. I feel like you gotta go right on the eye when you got the slicky. High heels on my tippies. Don't check and cup on the desk. Cop me the diamonds when I ride the dicky. Like, cop me the diamonds. Period. Oh, I love when I put that price powder on there. Jesus Christ, it just eats every time. I can't really see it from this angle. Wow. Wow. By the time the second one go off, I should be out the door. That blush is sick in there. I don't give a fuck. I do not care. Look at that. Wow. What? Like, well. Like, I will never slip me like a Mickey. Oh, I just look so dainty with that blush on. It's a lot, but it's so tea. <laughs> Like, it is salty. I don't care. They can never make me hate you. Never. Never say never. I hate going outside. It's like literally as soon as you step outside, money. I'm like, what the fuck? 
I'm wearing this cute little purple two piece from Target. And I think it's gonna look so cute with um, like my over dramatic hair's blush. It's gonna be so tea. I am so <sighs> tired. Oh, we. Mm, mm, mm. I think it's tired. Yeah, because I think I'm going to um, drive. That way, I can do my little one too in the end. Go home. I don't really want to stay till it's over and leave it out because it's like 8 30. My head is not my last tonight, y'all. I could have had my ass super sweet, but I don't have enough time. I'm not as good as it's gonna get today. I'm not gonna do all of that. I don't even think I'm gonna drink tonight, though. Like, not really. I'm super tired. I'm super tired. It's depressing as vlog, y'all. Because my heart can't take it anymore. And if you play me, please don't let it show. He say, oh, baby, I don't want to know. Talk your bad, talk your to me. If you better walk that, better walk that way. All that I can say. That. <laughs> that whole four days. That whole four days. I've been three. That's how long it take you. My hair curled and my makeup is on. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what the hell? Where you at? I'm right here on the 115th and Western. I bet you that day you pull up on Jordan. I doubt it. I doubt it, but I mean, nobody yeah. does, so. I'm waiting on you, stop. You want stalling. Now you pushing it now. Bitch, talk about stalling. Girl, go to fucking hell. I'm a stalling fan. I'm so fucking hungry. Get some Lord Jesus Christ. So. They need to give me the part. Damn. <laughs> Why do I have something to say? Why go and look at something? He going out there or he coming back down? Coming back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, then. I'm finna be on my way. No, y'all good, though. All right. I'm so armed and dangerous. I'm still telling them saying this. Just want to know if you are love the same if I want so famous. Yes, I have. Where he go, these niggas know in a trash can. In the fucking trash. Bye. Mwah. Go to the garbage. Piles. I smell amazing. Oh my god, I want to eat me. Like, are you dumb? Like, it's giving sexy. It's giving sexy, and I smell so tea. 
like yeah. Yeah. Los Angeles, California. Yeah, whack. Hold on. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I was ready to do it. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. Bro. I don't want to hear that, Wack. Ah, because ready, ready, I'm going to be at this place and y'all not even there. It's too much. I'm going to take these shots and send my black ass down because I don't like, um, I don't, God. Hold on now. Damn. God damn. Oh, Chicago Street's so bumpity dumpity. Like, oh. I'm gonna just hold it. Y'all, so I don't know if y'all remember that day in the summertime that um, I had a wing with Bree. It wasn't even the summer yet. But we went to this hookah lounge, y'all. And they had that liquor. And we were smoking that hookah. That was the last time I probably really smoked um, hookah and was drinking. I do not like to drink and smoke hookah. It's either one or the other. Like, if I do, the drink gotta be like fruity as hell. We didn't really have no chase of juice. I don't even think we had no juice, y'all. We was just drinking straight. I wanna say it was Casamigos. That was the last time I really drunk, like, like was drinking and smoking hookah. I do not like the feeling. If it ain't like a fruity drink, I cannot do it. So, I actually work tomorrow, so I don't want to do too much, but, you know, I'm here for the vibes. I'm always here for the vibes. I'm going to have a good time. I need a couple of pieces of chicken, though. From uh, the food that my kid got. They be driving so slow. I hate when people see that it's a 3, 2, 1, and they fucking completely stop at 1 at three like why are y'all making a complete stop when it's count down and it's on three if y'all don't float that hell just blow me but yeah so i'm here for a good time not a long time you know i i got so much to do so little time y'all i hate that my man work like you do <laughs> it be like it go from like yes bitch it's a litty night to Rita. You got shit you need to do. Like, you really need to turn around and go in the crib. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I swear to God, that's how my man work all day. I be praying about a guy like God. Like, can I just get a clear mind for one day? Like, just for one day. I cannot remember the last time I just had a clear mind. Like, and that is some sick ass shit. Because in my 43 years of living, you mean to tell me I haven't had a clip man since I was three years old? Like, come on now, shit. Take me back to when I was three, no shade. So, I'm finna be coming out to my kids. I'm finna curse everybody out. Because, like, what's the team? Oh, y'all never can be on time. Never can be on time. I'm such an on time girly and I do love that for me, but I hate it at the same time. But I love that for me because it gave me a chance to like curse everybody out like, oh my fucking God, y'all got me sitting in my clothes. Oh, I've been waiting on y'all. And it kind of make people step their cookies up. No shade. Kinda. But they care. But I'll check my camera in a minute. You got them um, better places up from right here? My girl, I put them all in that bag right there. Well, it ain't no paper plates. It was the napkin and the forks. What time is the place At 1.30. We went for the watch. We went for the watch. We supposed to make all that. We were supposed to be all that. She said that way from her. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm like, what time you need now? She like that. I was here at 855. Playing the day. I'm gonna get up. 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 It's that. Hey, Shaco, do this. Shaco, kick your arm with her nigga. 
Thank y'all for watching this video.